whenever Rick Diaz challenged Hans Kim, he put up his golden ticket. And if you don't know what the golden ticket is, it is probably one of the most uh, just uh, uh, equal it to the golden ticket in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This guy, for for him to have a golden ticket just showing up, that means that you could show up at any time and do a set. You can be relevant any time that you want to. And Rick Diaz put that up, said, hey, I'll lose this. I just want to challenge Hans Kim. Yeah, it's making the stare down very difficult. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So it's official. Three minutes versus three minutes. I said five one, judges. We agreed on one minute. Okay, so is it one minute or three minutes? I thought he wasn't allowed on the show. Ooh. This is true. It's oh, not performing. Shit. It's not doing a minute right now. This is literally us acknowledging. If you, if you put your Rolex on programs, I'll let you do three minutes. Wow. The famous will you Hans put up for Kim grabs? Rolex. What will you put up for grabs? Your health care? <laughs> I already put my golden ticket on the line. And you lost it, so I can't take it away again. Okay. Are you willing to put something up on the line? Rick, do you have anything that means something to you? Okay, so this is where I think that, that the uh, actual dialogue goes off just a little bit. Because, like I've said before, Rick did put up his golden ticket. Hans didn't put up anything except for something that I, I think a whole lot of people agree upon. That it wouldn't have been taken away to begin with. Hans makes a point. He said, hey, he's not supposed to be here. And then Tony clears it up. He says, well, he's not actually doing comedy. He's just he's just here fulfilling the WWF <laughs> role of this situation, which that's not what Tony said. But that's I think that's what a lot of people are actually thinking in the moment. And so I think it would have served Hans well if he would have said, yeah, for sure. But. I mean, if you are in the position where you have a Rolex on your arm and it was given to you by. That's my cat saying hello. <laughs> Cruz, you're not going out that door, buddy. But if you had a Rolex on your arm given to you by, gifted to you by Joe Rogan, would you? Would you give it up that easily? I don't think so. Hans's Rolex isn't just a Rolex. It was a gift from Joe Rogan. He challenged me. Well, I mean, yeah. He but challenged it, it, me. It's, it's I a, already won. No. I understand. I understand Rick Diaz's stance. And just for the record, I am Team's Han, dude. I am. I am. <clears throat> the guy does a minute every single week. 20 weeks. You have 20 minutes set right there. It's it's unbelievable how much hate. Honestly, it's unbelievable how much hate Hans has gotten. Now, I understand him being arrogant and all that kind of stuff. But if you've ever gone from living in your van to not having to. You don't want to lose that. You just don't. I'm teams, Han. I appreciate Rick. You didn't win. You lost. It's adorable that you keep saying that. You lost. I, mean, I don't say that. People keep telling him that. Yeah, like I, I, that. <laughs> that was funny. I am i don't keep saying that. Everyone else does. Because if you get on the Reddit, the subreddit of Kill Tony, it, it, it's, it's so one-sided. And it's a bunch of people that don't, I, I feel, <laughs> appreciate comedy the way it should be appreciated. Especially, well, comedy. I'm not going to say that. That's a that's a rough statement. Uh, appreciate Tony, kill Tony as much as it should be appreciated, because it is. It's a it's its own unique entity in the comedy realm. It is the number one comedy podcast in the world, and Hans Kim earned his spot on Kill Tony. Thousand redditors told you that. I no, hear and, you. And thousands of YouTube comments and Shane Gillis and Matt McCusker. Shane Gillis. Shane Gil Gilkes. Shane. Yeah, both of them. Matt and Shane both said Hans lost. And the only response that Tony Hinchcliffe has is to make fun of the way somebody speaks, <laughs> which, oh, whatever, dude. You're an insult comic. That's fine. 
I have the accent I have, good sir. I have the accent I have. When exactly did you get bit by a vampire? I'm so confused. It's unbelievable. Back in the 1800s, <laughs> where I came out from. I don't the... know what you're worried about. You can win every time as long as you do turtle jokes. <laughs> I look like an uncircumcised turtle. Well, Hans, I wasn't going to say it. Hans is stealing D. Magnus' microphone. Uh-oh. Fuck Rick Diaz. <laughs> so it's on. So that's one of the reasons why people don't like Hans right now, is that behavior. But, I mean, I guess he's trying to be a heel, possibly. I don't know. I'm Team Hans. I really am. Uh, I think that he's hilarious. Is he William Montgomery level? No. But really close, man. Really close. This is the Texas Goat Radio Show. I'm your host. As always, till next time.